with alignment mode so we can connect text and flexbox alignment on children to a variable mode. This means on any breakpoint, we can easily change the alignment of the entire section, and it also affects child components that need to be used across multiple sections and just receive from the alignment of their parent section. In our variables panel, we have an alignment collection with a flex alignment variable across the three modes and text alignment across the same modes. To apply these, we can use a utility class. I have an alignment horizontal for stacking elements side by side or alignment vertical for stacking them under each other. Here on my custom class, I might apply any gap I want here. We'll notice that the alignment vertical class applies two custom properties, one for flex alignment linked to the variable and the other links our text alignment to that variable. Now we can still adjust our top center bottom alignment like so, but the left and right alignment is linked to our variable. We can also apply this to a custom class if we'd like. We can start with our alignment vertical class and then just duplicate it into a custom class. And then we can continue to apply any styles we want to this class like so. And it's still just connecting those two custom properties to our variable. We'll want to do the same thing for any horizontal elements. So I'll apply this alignment horizontal. I'll apply any custom gap I want here. And we'll do the same thing for this one as well. We'll apply the class and then apply any custom gap. Now we can go up to any parent, in this case, the whole section, and we'll set our alignment mode like so. And this is just updating the value of two variables. So on any breakpoint, we can easily change this like so. And this is creating much less code than if we were to manually go adjust the alignment on each child element here, because we're just reapplying two variables here to affect all children in the section. To set this up, in the variables base collection, we'll create align variables for flex start, flex center, and flex end, text left, text center, and text right. And these are all just size variables. Since Webflow doesn't allow us to apply the true value of these variables, in an embed, we'll update their values to the correct variables of flex start, center, and end, left, center, and right. Now, once we have these set, we can actually use them inside of our alignment mode, and we'll apply these variables from our base collection of flex start, center, end, and text left, center, right. Now, once we have those, we can just create our two utility classes. So I've created a U alignment vertical that sets the flex alignment to vertical. I've defaulted it to center align, and we can always override that on a custom class. And then I've applied these custom properties of align items to set the left center right alignment to a variable and text alignment, I've linked that to a variable. Then I've also created a horizontal class, and this one I've set to wrapping by default since that's the most common use case. We can override it to not wrap on a custom class when needed. I've set the default alignment here to center, and then for the custom property, we're just setting the justify content to that flex alignment variable, so the left, center, and right, like so. And once we have those two utilities set, we can just apply them to any elements and use our alignment modes freely. So that's how to set up and use alignment modes in Webflow.